Title, Trump's Rollercoaster Indictment Journey, Somehow It's Boosting GOP Lead. CLDR. A surprising twist has unfolded. Despite facing an indictment, Trump's lead over the Republican presidential field is expanding, according to a recent NBC News poll. The stats reveal a potential opening for a rival, even with half of the Republican primary voters open to other leaders. However, the concerns of the general electorate differ, with the majority feeling uneasy about Trump post-indictment. Yet, Trump continues to maintain a growing lead in the Republican circle, posing a curious question, is controversy becoming the new fuel for political traction? The political dance floor is heating up as former President Donald Trump slides into the lead, despite a fresh indictment. With a 29-point lead over Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, Trump seems to have donned an intriguing pair of dance shoes that keep him twirling amidst his legal woes. Is the Republican Party starting a trend of indictments as fashion statements? Indeed, 51% of national Republican primary voters have picked the ex-president as their numero uno choice in the race for the 2024 GOP presidential nomination. DeSantis trails behind at 22%, while the remaining hopefuls lag even further. Curiously, a sizable 64% of Republican primary voters believe Trump's numerous indictments and investigations are just politically motivated maneuvers. Even more bewildering is the 77% of GOP voters who say they have minor or no real concerns about the federal charges against Trump in the classified document case. But what about the elephant in the room? A healthy 49% of Republican primary voters say they want Trump to continue as the party's leader, despite the legal snafus. Is this a case of stick to the devil you know, or is there more at play here? Contrastingly, 50% of GOP primary voters seem ready to entertain the idea of a new leader. The question remains, will this new leader syndrome prevail, or is the Trump train too mighty to derail? The dance-off becomes even more intriguing when we look at the hypothetical general election matchup for 2024 between Trump and President Joe Biden. Biden only edges Trump by a meager four points, well within the poll's margin of error. Could the possibility of a Biden-Trump rematch transform the election into a popularity contest, where the focus is more on the personalities than the policies? Still, a majority of registered voters have reservations about either Trump or Biden serving another four-year term in the White House. While Trump seems to have his share of fans within his party, the broader electorate is sending mixed signals, questioning both candidates' physical and mental health. So, is this election becoming a choice between the lesser of two evils? Looking ahead, the 2024 congressional elections show a neck-and-neck -neck race with 48% of voters favoring Democrats in control of Congress versus 46% leaning towards Republicans. Does this evenly matched scenario add a layer of suspense to the political arena, making it anyone's game? Clearly, the upcoming elections are shaping up to be an unpredictable roller coaster. The question is, are we buckled up for the wild ride or just bracing for impact? And how far will controversy and doubt shape the final outcomes? So, are voters drawn to controversy and unconventional politicians, or are they just getting tired of politics as usual and looking for something, or someone, different? Can we consider these trends as the new norm in politics?